Hello, Peter Detmer, Madison College. Today I'm going to talk and step you through how to load a project file, add control net and device and configuration files, and test proper functionality. First of all, make sure you download all of these files from your lab folder. Once you did that, note their location so that you can refer back to them and access them from the RSLogic software. I already have RSLogic 5000 software running. Click open. Navigate to the folder that you downloaded the files to. You note there are two files here. We want to do the blank one first. Since our 10 rack uh, control logics chassis contains two processors, we want to be able to load the blank ACD file into the secondary or redundant processor. So now that the file has been opened, you see on the I.O. configuration, there's only one processor listed. So within the RS2, change the path so you can navigate to the processor through the Ethernet IP card to the backplane. Here are who active windows open. Click the plus sign next to your Ethernet IP driver to the backplane. Then navigate through the Ethernet card, through the backplane, to the processor in slot number 3, and simply download this file into the processor. Confirm to download. You can leave it in remote program or change to run mode. Save the file. Then go ahead and open. We're done with this file now. So now we want to open up the other project file. We're going to do some more work with that, which is this file. Now that this file is open, first thing we need to do is we need to add the configuration files to the device net card. To do so, click the slot number four for the device net, right click, select properties. Go to the RS Networks tab, click Browse, navigate to the folder. You see there are two configuration files. It only shows the ones that match the extension available. We want to use this DNB file. Since we're working with the DNB card, click Apply and OK. Then we go into slot number five, the Control Net card. Same thing, highlight it. Right click, properties, go to the RS Networks tab, click browse, find the file, that we want to load. Here you see only one file is available, since it's the only control net configuration file. Click apply. Check the Schedule Control Net radio button, click OK. Then the last configuration file is here under Control Net, the linking device. Right click again, Properties, go to the RS Networks tab, click Browse, find the file you downloaded. Here be sure to select the CN to DN configuration file, click Open, Apply. And OK. Then save this project file. See, everything has been scheduled, the notes have been updated. Click the R to browse button, navigate to slot number one, and then download this project file into the processor. Again, read all the warnings, make sure the system is offline. This is a trainer system, so there's no actual production equipment connected. Click download. Once it's been downloaded, change it back to run mode. And if there are any issues like this, go back and uh, 